Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members of the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it guys. So today I wanted to make this video just to compare a little bit of the SU25T or the SU39, right, against the normal SU25 to see how they actually perform against each other in a dogfight. This objective is not to actually show uh, particularly what aircraft would like win in a dogfight, but more or less to just have a general idea how they compare to each other and what can you expect from the new SU-25T. Since, of course, if you remember, uh, this aircraft is actually going to be an 11.3, so it is a high BR for an attack aircraft, right? It is not a low BR. Doesn't matter if it's good or not, it is still a very high BR. Uh, you, and it will fight a lot of aircraft that will destroy you just trying to when you try to just get into a dogfight. So you need to be very smart about how you fly something like this. Even though it is an amazing aircraft, uh, it is subsonic, it is kind of heavy, and yeah, you need to be careful. So uh, the first one here, it was kind of a warm-up. Um, I entered too fast and I kind of didn't turn very well. But you will see the first thing that we can grab from these um, dogfights uh, the first thing, the, the obvious thing, is that the instantaneous turn of the SU-25, the normal one, is a little bit better. It's not by much, so in the one circle, um, the SU-25 is a little bit better, the normal one. Uh, not by much, as I said, as you saw there, it's pretty similar. Um, but you need to be careful with it, and there is a very weird factor about this aircraft that I think everybody should understand how to fly it. Uh, because there will be one thing that I think it will be completely different than anything else. Um, well, completely different than the original SU-25. But more due to the fact that you are going to fight against heavier, um, faster aircraft, right? Stronger aircraft in the sense of power to trust and stuff. Um, power to wait, I mean. So, the one thing that you need to worry about is actually making the enemy overshoot. As you see over here... Um, the SU-25 could get my 6 over here, and I was basically dead. I did it, just didn't die because my friend there wasn't very accustomed to the uh, cannons of the SU-25. Uh, so, yeah, and I had to just adapt myself. So I cannot actually pull as much AOA as he's pulling. So the major thing that I wanted to actually use here is uh, unpredictability. As you saw, I mean, I was pulling, then... When I thought he was going to shoot, I just made a negative turn. So try to be unpredictable with this aircraft. And the other thing is actually making the target overshoot. It's the main tactic that I find it useful against anything while in dogfighting. Because everything will be faster than you. And you need, really need to be careful with that. Uh, it might be a problem, it might be a good thing. You just need to just learn how to properly use that um, to your will, right? And, yeah, you will see that the aircraft is sluggish, it is a heavy aircraft, but it has a little bit of extra power. Uh, against, it, particularly, the SU-25, you can use those two things for your advantage. Uh, the way that you are sluggish and just the way that you fly, you can make him overshoot sometimes. And also, with the stronger engine, you can try to get back to speed a little bit quicker than the original SU-25. You do need to be careful with overheating. But it is something that it, it must be one of your worries. So as you see, I'm just making me as hard as possible to actually hit. Uh, and it's working. It's making him overshoot a little bit. And I think this will be the tactic, tactic uh, with basically any aircraft that you fight against. I tried with the MLD afterwards. Uh, I'm not going to show that because the video is already too long, I think. But still... Um, I did a, a kind of a dogfight with an MLD and I mean it had really bad problems against that aircraft and you can see that I mean obviously at 11.3 the MLD is probably one of the best aircraft in the game uh, in a dogfight uh, but still um, it's something that beyond like F4s or the occasional F14 that it's too fast or the MiG-23 that is too fast for you you will eventually die against cannon fire it is really really hard so that's why i think it's a very dangerous br for this aircraft to be um, at first i think in ground battles i think you will be the best cast in the game 
But in air battles, I think it will be just food for the fighters. And that's pretty much the, you know, the thing, the, the, like the, the way that, that, it, that it flies uh, with every single, like, CAS aircraft that these IBRs. They, they're not really good against fighters, right? They're not made for that. But it is quite funny to see that you have some tactics that you can use to actually beat them. Uh, so yeah, getting back to the track of the Su-25 against the Su-25, you can see that due to my higher power over here and the use of flaps, I can basically maintain a properly good, um, you know, rate fight with him and basically uh, win a rate fight. Uh, so it's one thing that I think the, uh, the Su-25T is just better. Uh, it is just maintaining the great speed that you have to to maintain to actually be able to turn in a rate fight or something like that. Um, so, yeah, compare. So, if you are flying this thing, like, with just... With, with the Su-25 in your mind, the original one, just think about two things. Uh, it is a little bit more sluggish in the first turns, you know? But due to the extra power, it can maintain itself in a better position to actually win a rate fight against another Su-25, so it's just better at that. As I said, the objective isn't to, like, prove that the Su-25T is better than the Su-25, the normal one, it's just to actually take a look on the differences. And these are the two main differences that I noticed. It is a heavier aircraft, uh, the aerodynamics of it are pretty much the same, so the heavy weight um, can be, you know, problematic uh, when you are trying to turn and move your inertia, basically. You need more lift to do that. So yeah, and uh, the other thing is that the extra power makes you a lot better on the sense of continue to maintain your maximum rate uh, in the, the optimal speed of the maximum rate of turn, right? So yeah, here we started to try with the SU-39 using the copier radar just to take a look on the differences uh, that the aircraft suffers with the radar. And yes, you can feel it, it is a lot sluggish, uh, a lot more sluggish, and it's just a, it's a hard aircraft to fly when it has the radar. So unless you are actually going to use it for ground battles, I don't think it's a very good option to actually use the radar uh, in an air battle or anything like that. The aircraft becomes a lot heavier, and yes, you can win, um, but it's a matter of just the pilot knowing how to use properly the air brakes and stuff and trying to make the other aircraft, aircraft overshoot than rather the optimal performance of this aircraft. You really feel that you are really struggling uh, with the radar. Uh, it's nothing too crazy, but it, I mean, it, it is probably like 300, 200, 300 kilograms or at least like 200 kilograms, this whole pod with the radar, right? So it's a very heavy thing. Uh, if you are in a dogfight, you want to just, you know, basically just uh, avoid any type of extra weight. And you cannot actually, you know, uh, dump this thing, which is quite annoying, to be honest. I, I would really enjoy uh, actually dumping the radar and the, um, and the gun pods if you, if you can, you know, even though it wouldn't be something that they would do in real life. I mean, maybe in an emergency situation, right? Uh, but still, like, it's it's an option that the aircraft could do in real life, so I think it would be cool to see that. Uh, but as you see, I cannot get it in a rate fight. I'm too slow to actually get him. Um, even trying to, like, make him overshoot, I don't have the actual, like, pitch angle to actually be able to uh, get it after the, the, the overshoot. So, yeah, it becomes a lot of a, a big problem with the aircraft. Uh, the engines are working overtime here to try to make him, I don't know, overshoot or just lose energy at least uh, on the vertical loops here. But he's just not there. I mean, the thrust to weight, uh, you have to imagine that these engines, the R195s, they are slightly, only slightly uh, stronger than the original R95SH, um, right? So uh, the extra engine that you have, it's basically being, you know, destroyed by the extra uh, weight that you are carrying so it kind of becomes you know problematic and you are still a heavier aircraft so the thrust weight of it becomes a little bit worse so 
As I said, I wouldn't adv advise you guys to actually use the copulator unless you are using it in a ground battle. Uh, here we have another type of dogfight um, using actually bombs just to see how they would perform against each other. And here you can... I don't know, I, I did some mistakes here, but I just thought that the, the SU-25, the normal one, uh, it is just much better just due to the lightweightness of it uh, compared to that, this one. Uh, even though he has the bombs as well, he's still a lot lighter than me, so he can actually pull a little bit more of AOA, just overall um, angles that he can just turn better, right? And then he eventually killed my pilot. Uh, we tried again. But yeah, you will see kind of the same thing happening. It is a very, very sluggish aircraft. So yes, indeed, it is going to be the best aircraft in the game, in the sense of CAS, but I think it is going to struggle against fighters. So if you are going to fly this thing on the live server when it comes out, of course, things are subject to change. But still, I would advise you guys just to uh, fly very low to the ground, uh, maybe just avoid you know, flying towards the main objectives. Uh, try to get objectives that are just uh, flying on the side, or just on the side, not flying, right? The tanks and stuff that are on the side of the map or anything like that. Because if the SU-25 already kind of struggles uh, against more, f like, faster aircraft, imagine an SU-25 that will be at 11.3. Um, so... I don't know, maybe one of the options over here, if this aircraft is actually really bad uh, in ARB, is to lower its BR, but I don't know, in ground battles, I don't think they, that would be making sense. Maybe in the future, adding the R-73 and increasing its BR. So, I don't know, there are some options over there, if the aircraft is actually bad. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, and I see you guys on the next one. Let me know in the comments what you think about the uh, SU-25T, okay? Bye, guys. See you.